What remedies can you give to people that are experiencing these feelings during the Advent and Christmas season? First, I'd like to say that it is hard. Um, feelings of depression, which sometimes are medical and needs, need to be addressed through the medical field, are extremely difficult to deal with. Feelings of loneliness, especially when people have recently lost loved ones, is extremely hard. And there's easy pieces of advice that don't necessarily work for people, which is obviously reach out to other loved ones, try to, try to get involved in parish groups if you're uh, part of a parish, uh, reaching out to people from the past that you may have lost contact with. We've become very isolated in our lives today, and so it's a struggle. It's challenging to break out of our comfort zone and to reach out to others that we may have lost contact with. So I think initiating, um, reaching out to others. Cause sometimes when we're feeling lonely, we close in on ourselves. So rather than reaching out to people, we expect people to come to us, but at times that can make the loneliness even worse. For myself, um, in my vocation as a priest, we take on the vow of celibacy. So we know we're not gonna have a family um, exclusive, a nu nuclear family, one could say. And so for us, a lot of our loneliness would be solved with just being with the Lord, um, spending more time in adoration, you know, like anybody, priests can get distracted with spending a lot of their time watching TV or being on the internet. It might be a way for them to relax, and it's not to say that is bad, but in order to kind of fill our hearts, which are thirsting for love, like if we're not spending time with the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, those feelings of loneliness are not going to go away. And so for me, like if I'm feeling lonely, I go to the Lord. And sometimes it's just sitting there, sitting in the silence, uh, listening to the silence together, as one prayer said. I love this prayer of St. John, uh, this story of St. John Vianney. He saw this man praying in a church and the man was looking at the tabernacle where we believe Jesus is. And St. John Vianney said, well, what are you praying about? And the man said, well, I just look at him and he looks at me. That's what I pray about. And so that for me is a great um, help in terms of loneliness. With all that being said, sometimes it's just a suffering that we have to offer up. All of us go through periods of life that are difficult for one reason or another, and we can't easily fix the difficulty. We live in a culture that wants to slowly take or quickly take away our problems whenever they arise. But some issues in our life, the Lord allows us to carry that burden for an extended period of time, and there's no easy solution. So we choose with the Lord to accept the suffering uh, with the Lord's help. We offered up to the Lord, we united to Christ on the cross, who suffered on the cross, one could say loneliness because sometimes there's not an easy solution to take away these deep pains that we're feeling in our life. So those are different thoughts on the experience of loneliness. I hope and pray all of you have a blessed weekend. May the God bless and protect you always, keep you safe and healthy, help you to enjoy friends and family members, and help you to know him, and to love him, and to serve you. And may God bless you in your